What up guys, John from Mongo Fishing. Today's video, I'm gonna make that uh, rod holder that I was talking about for the back of the truck. Let's go to Home Depot. Gorgeous day, but this is why I'm not going fishing. All right guys, let's go in and get the PVC stuff. That is it. All right, all checked out. Let's go throw it in the truck, and get home and uh, get this thing done. So, two end caps. Two 90 degree elbows and six T fittings. PVC solvent, make sure it's PVC and not CPVC. Use the, this is the primer, this is the solvent. You will also need a Sharpie and uh, a way of cutting PVC. I bought some new PVC cutters. I normally just use a hacksaw, but cutters and then the PVC itself uh, it's out in the garage I got a 10 foot length so my cut list well first off these are all laid out loosely right now right I mean things still move nothing's glued in place it's just a dry fit it's not pushed in very tight just making sure everything lined up the way I wanted it so I cut five pieces uh, six inches long Okay, it's these little middle pieces. I cut Two pieces that were six and a half inches long. Those are going to go on The ends that's sorry, I guess like that All right? It's gonna go over here on this end Or like that over here on this end Six inch on these and six and a half on the two ends uh, then I did two that are 14 and a half. These are going to end up being kind of like legs, if you will. They're going to go, they're going to go out for support. So these are 14 and a half inches. And then six pieces that are eight inches long, and that's what the rods are actually going to sit in themselves. So to run through that again, five six inch pieces, two six and a half inch pieces, two 14 and a half inch pieces that will end up fitting into those. And then six eight inch pieces that actually hold the rods themselves. That's the cut list. The next thing you really need to do, and I don't, I don't have the room for it here, so I'm going to have to move, but that's place it all on the ground and kind of dry fit everything, make sure things are sitting the way they want. All right, so I took it outside. I made marks with the pen on each one of the T's and on the pipe itself all the way across so that I know how to line them up. I cannot get these things open, I already tried, so let's try a strap wrench. Get that one undone. There we go. That thing seized up quick. Whenever 
never used this blue glue before. This stuff is really thin compared to the other stuff I used to have. And normally I would give things a quarter turn, but this is just setting so quick that I'm afraid to do that. done this during the summer when it wasn't so cold. All right guys, the glue's all dried. So this next step, I went ahead and just pushed the ends on. This piece is glued, but this piece is just pushed. Same thing over here on this side. So what you're doing here is you wanna make sure that this thing is sitting flat. So you wanna be on some pretty flat ground, okay? And the point of that leg and that leg. That's your stabilization. That's what keeps this from tipping over. Okay, but what you don't know is you don't know how good, if this is a good angle right here for the rod holders, right? Because you don't want your rods too, too high up. So this part, this next step is actually pretty crucial and I use a broom to do this. So, um, so let's go do it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Take your rod holder out and put it in the bed of your truck. Ooh, that's slippery. Basically what you, basically what you want to do is you want to get it in the bed of the truck. Um, just get it back there and you're checking the angle. So you're checking the angle to make sure your rods aren't going to be sitting pointed too high or too low. If they're pointed too low, they're gonna, every bump you hit, the rod tip is gonna smack on the tailgate, and if they're too high, I mean, I guess theoretically you could snap them off on tree branches, so obviously you don't wanna point it straight up. But the easiest way to adjust it is with the broom. And so, use the broom as a rod and put it in there and see how this thing sits. Right, you'd obviously know if it's too low, it's, it's, it's gonna be obviously hitting the tailgate. Um, but let's go inside and grab an actual rod so you can see what I'm talking about on how they sit now. Use a rod to, to do the measuring, use a broomstick to do the adjusting. So, back outside with the rod. Let's see how the rod sits. So there you go. If you look, it's lower than the roof of the truck. And that's a seven foot rod. You want that. Because you're gonna know if a tree branch is gonna reach out there and grab your rod, it also would have scratched across the ceiling of your truck. Yeah, that angle's perfectly fine. So I don't need to make any adjustments on this. So, take the rod back out. Take the room back out. And now you can go make the marks with the pen and uh, and then do your final glue. Okay. So again, this is when you want to make sure that 
your pin marks get lined up when you glue. All the previous pin marks didn't really matter. These ones definitely matter. Hey, that's it guys. A couple uh, options you have for mounting. You can either use bungees or cargo straps or something like that for mounting in the back of your truck. Um, you can fill it with pea gravel. Uh, that also works, help weigh it down, keep it from sliding around. Uh, that's what the end caps are for if you end up doing that route. Uh, I do suggest you drill small holes in the bottom for water drainage. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's about it. The last step really can't do right now uh, even after it dries and that's spray paint paint it black to match to match the uh, bed liner and to cover up all the blue the blue primer purple primer and blue glue you know help clean that up by painting everything black and making it look a little better thanks very much for watching do me a favor hit that thumbs up button if you like the video drop a comment below if you'd like to see other diys or if you have questions regarding this one uh, and if you're new to this channel please hit that subscribe button right down there looks like me holding a fish uh, with that, guys, again, thank you very much. Get on the water. Be safe. Go stick some lips.